this is Joanna and I'm back today with another video and this is a video for Addicted to Cass and we have a two week challenge and the team is patriotic and I'm using stamp set from Simon's Stamp and this die is also from Simon's Stamp and the star die is my favorite things and I'm starting out by cutting my frame so I'm using some Nina Solo white and I cut my my um, front panel out of it. And then I have some regular copy paper. And I am going to use my Be Creative tape. And I will just cut it down to size. You can buy Be Creative tape in sheets or as tape. And I have bought it as sheets. So I'm just cutting it down to size and then I'm gluing it onto my copy paper. And the reason that I use copy paper is because I want the stars to be fairly thin. Because I'm going to cut the stars out and I will adhere glitter onto them. So I'm just trimming it out to size first using my scissors. And then I will die cut the stars. And I will like at two stars and I will like at six small stars. No, sorry, four small stars. And I just keep them in place with some washi tape. So they don't shift when I run them through my die cut machine. And here they are, two large stars and four small. And I will, <clears throat> now there is adhesive on both sides and I will use some glitter. I will use blue glitter and red glitter and I will use that on top. So I'm starting out by uh, removing the backer sheet. And I will make three of them blue and three of them red. And this glitter is from a Swedish craft store. So if you're in the US and you want something similar, I have listed some Martha Stewart glitter uh, in the links down below. So you can check that out if you're interested. <clears throat> and I have listed uh, the other supplies that I've used as well. And when I use glitter like this, I always try to burnish the glitter with my fingers. So I uh, pour the glitter on top and then I use my fingers to burnish the glitter in. And then the glitter stays in place. So I'm just pouring the glitter over the star. And the, you can also use a bone folder if you want to. But I always use my fingers. I think I get a better result when I use my fingers. And now it's time for the red stars. And I'm using my pokey tool to, uh, to remove the backer, back, backer sheet. And you don't have to use Be Creative tape on the back side, uh, but I uh, think it's really convenient. And uh, since I was using it on the front, I thought I could use it on the back as well. But if you want to, you can save the uh, Be Creative tape and you could just adhere them with regular glue. And now it's time to make uh, the red glitter. So I'm just pouring the red glitter over the stars. And then I just do the same thing as I did with the blue stars. I'm just using my fingers to burnish the glitter into the glue. And then I'm just tapping them onto the paper to get rid of any excess glitter. And then I just funnel it back into the jar. And now it's time to create the sentiment. And I'm using this sentiment from Simon Says Stamp. It's called Wishing. It's called Sending and Wishing. And uh, the sentiment is Wishing You Joy. And I'm using my Fisker stamp press to pick them up. So I'm sure that they will stamp in the place that I want to. And I have this piece of vellum. And I'm using my, I'm using my anti-static tool there, just to prevent uh, any embossing powder from sticking to the paper. I just want the embossing powders to stick to the Versamark. So I'm inking my stamp up and I'm lining it, lining it up on the vellum. And 
And then I have some uh, sparkling silver sparkle embossing powder. I really love this one. So I'm just pouring it onto the stamped greeting and I'm funneling the excess back into the jar. And then I use my heat tool and I'm just heating the powder. And vellum is really easy to warp. So I always work a little bit with the paper while it's still warm and that prevents warping really good. And then I use my paper trimmer to trim it down to size. And here I'm just testing out how I want the stars on the card. Since I live in Sweden, I don't do many patriotic cards, so this was quite a challenge, but I really like the end result, and I think I could send this to anyone, really. It, don't, it doesn't have to be a US citizen. And then <clears throat> I used my poker tool again to uh, remove the backer sheet. And then it's super simple to adhere them onto the card. But again, of course, you can just use regular glue uh, instead of the creative tape on the back side to glue them in place. And I think this turned out really good because the copy paper is so thin and the uh, Be Creative tapes add almost no bulk at all. So uh, I think this looks really good with those thin stars. And then I just use my scissor to cut the excess stars off. And here you can see the glitter and the shimmer. I think it's so pretty. And now it's time to adhere the sentiment strip. And I'm just uh, folding the vellum in place. And then I'm using some regular tape to tape it down. And then I'm adhering some 3M foam tape on the back. This is a really good foam tape, I think. It doesn't add too much bulk, so you can still send it through the mail. And it's really easy to peel off the backing as well. And now the card is done. So I hope that inspired you to create something patriotic yourself. And I hope to see you over at Addicted to Cass. So hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.